Hey guys, welcome to Sheffield, the city of steel. We're at Ernest Wright & Sons, one of the last remaining traditional scissor makers based in the UK. We're excited to bring you a slightly different episode today, and we're looking forward to giving you an insight into the unique craft of scissor making. Located on Broad Lane, it'd be easy to walk past their workshop without giving it a second glance. Calling it just a workshop, though, wouldn't do it justice. Ernest Wright & Sons have been crafting traditional scissors for over 100 years. We came to talk to Nick Wright to find out more about the company's past. If you go back in history, Walter Wright was my great-great-grandfather. He was a little mester. Basically, he was an outworker who worked in his own little workshop for other people and would have done a particular part of the process. My great-grandfather, Ernest Senior, actually formed the company in 1902. He continued making scissors, you know, as we still do today, the, the, the same way. My grandfather inherited the business from him and built the business up quite steadily after the war, after World War II. Uh, during World War II, we were actually a medical company. We turned into medical supplies. He passed the business on to my father and my uncle. That was around about the mid-70s and continued making pretty much up until I took over in 2012. And I've had the business since then. And I'm determined to carry on making traditional scissors the good old-fashioned way. Uh, and get the skills passed on to the next generation. Stepping into the workshop is like stepping back in time. You won't see any computerised processes or clever machines here, just four very talented craftsmen. We wanted to learn more about their traditional methods. But first, we had to swat up on our scissor terminology. So you start with the bows. They're connected to the blades via the shanks. The blades are joined together by their nail hole and the cutting edge is the whole length from pinch to point. So where does a pair of scissors start its life? We would start with a forging. Um, and a forging is the raw product that we buy in. That comes from a drop forge, hot drop forge process. Basically a, a red hot ingot uh, that's stamped out into a, a rough scissor shape. The first job we would do is to drill and tap those forgings, put the, the, um, the nail hole through. The second job is hardening, flame hardening. And uh, the reason we do the, um, the drilling first is that literally you would not get a drill through them after they've been hardened. Once they've been hardened, they come back and go through our vibro polishing machine, which takes off the, the real rough burn uh, that comes from uh, the, the hardening process and also just polishes them up to give us a, a start. They would then go into the machine room and we have the grinding machines which um, are set up to put a perfect inside edge of the scissors. After that they would go into the factory and from then on every single part of the process is fully manual. They'll go through a series of grinding wheels. Every surface bar perhaps the outside of the bows will be touched by a grinding wheel and will, will be treated and, and, and ground. So we'll polish up just about every surface. They then go across to the putter together. The putters actually put a curve into the blade to make the two blades spring against each other. As you open a pair of scissors, you'll see the blades crossing over each other. And as you close them, you'll see them forcing each other apart. Any good pair of scissors should have a gap all the way from the pinch to the point other than where the, uh, the blades are actually touching. That springing those two blades together is what causes the friction to make a good pair of scissors work. So we've just finished up here in Sheffield. A big thank you to everyone at Ernest Wright & Sons for having us today. We've really enjoyed learning about such a unique craft and there aren't many businesses like this anymore so please check them out. We'll put all their details in the box below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel here. We've been a little less known. Take care and all the best.